Bamboo combs are cut into segments of various lengths, depending on the desired dimensions of the plywood panels. The bamboo segments are further chopped into thin slices. These slices will form the individual layers of the plywood panels. The nodes, which are hard and uneven parts of the bamboo, are removed from the slices. The bamboo slices are then shaped to ensure uniformity and smoothness. To eliminate sugar and potential insect infestation in the bamboo, the slices are boiled with salt. The bamboo slices are dried to reduce their moisture content. This step is crucial for ensuring the stability and durability of the final plywood panels. To enhance the color and burn off remaining sugars and nutrients in the bamboo, the slices undergo accelerated carbonization. Chopping the bamboo slices to standard size and fineness. The bamboo slices are then classified into different groups based on their quality. Grup A. Good color, no dents, no bruise, sharp edges, good shape. Group C, the others. Using melamine glue, the bamboo slices are glued together layer by layer. This adhesive provides strength and stability to the plywood panels. The glued bamboo slices, along with the pedestal and core, are assembled and placed into a hot press. The panels are pressed together at temperatures ranging from 120 to 150 degrees Celsius. This process activates the glue and ensures the layers bond firmly. Once the individual panels are formed, they can be stacked and laminated together. Averager weight of bamboo panel after pressing Edo Oak GG1M3. After lamination, the edges of the bamboo plywood panels are cut to achieve the desired standard size. Then, the panels are rasp and smooth to ensure uniformity and a polished finish. Freshly cut bamboo naturally contains a significant amount of starch, which is a favorite food of powder beetles. To eliminate this starch, we submerge the bamboo in running water for several days. This process effectively removes the starch and makes the bamboo unappetizing to powder beetles. After washing, we sun dry the bamboo poles for a minimum of five days. This drying process reduces the moisture content of the poles to approximately 33%. By achieving this moisture level, the poles become ready to absorb the maximum amount of treatment solution. Every pole undergoes full submersion to absorb the necessary treatment solution. We utilize a boron or permethrin solution, which acts as the final guarantee against termites. Our process ensures that there is no waste, as the poles enter the solution already cleaned and dried. The treatment solution is only added to as the poles gradually absorb more. Lastly, all treated bamboo is carefully stored in covered racks that allow for proper airflow while protecting the bamboo from direct sunlight and rain. Choose bamboo stalks that are large enough to create bowls of your desired size. Look for stalks with a smooth and even surface, free from cracks or blemishes. Use a sharp knife or saw to cut the bamboo stalks into sections of the desired height for your bowls. Make sure to cut them evenly and clean any rough edges for a neat finish. Place the bamboo strips in water and let them soak for several hours. Soaking the strips makes them more pliable and easier to work with during the weaving process. Carefully split each section of bamboo lengthwise into thin strips. This can be done by using a knife or a bamboo splitter. Once the bamboo strips are dry, you can begin the process of spinning and weaving them into a bowl shape.
Start by shaping the base of the bowl by joining the strips together in a circular pattern. Gradually build up the sides by weaving the strips in and out of each other until the desired height is reached. Use clips or clamps to hold the strips in place as you work. To preserve the color and enhance the durability of the spun bamboo bowl, apply a food-safe finish such as a natural oil or wax. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for application and drying time, ensuring the finish is completely dry before using the bowl. Start by using a high-quality sandpaper to remove any cracks, stains, or surface irregularities. Instead of using glue, you can use natural coatings like grass seed oil, bamboo oil, beeswax, or vegetable oil. These coatings can protect bamboo bowls from mold, cracking, and environmental impacts. Apply thin coating to the surface of the bamboo bowl and let it dry completely. Bamboo decking production involves the utilization of bamboo as the primary raw material. The manufacturing process begins with subjecting the bamboo to 3,000 tons of pressure, resulting in a durable and resilient material. The bamboo decking offers various benefits such as waterproof properties, high stability, exceptional strength, and excellent resistance to corrosion. Moreover, it is considered an environmentally friendly option due to its green nature and adherence to principles of environmental protection. The production of bamboo decking has gained significant popularity since 2010, with installations surpassing 1.5 million square meters across more than 30 countries worldwide. Bamboo is a fast-growing plant that reaches maturity in just a few years. The first step in manufacturing bamboo straws is to harvest the bamboo stalk selectively. After the drying process, the bamboo stalks are cut into suitable lengths for straws. They are typically cut at an angle to create a pointed tip that makes drinking easier. The outer layer of the bamboo is usually removed to reveal the smoother inner surface. The drying oven is designed to provide controlled temperature and humidity, providing the ideal environment for drying bamboo tubes efficiently. Before starting the drying process, the kiln is checked and prepared to ensure it is working properly and safely. To create the hollow center of the straw, the bamboo is carefully split using specialized tools. The split bamboo pieces are then further processed to remove any rough edges and achieve a smooth, polished finish. This is done through a combination of manual sanding and machine processes. Before packaging, the bamboo straws undergo a sterilization process to ensure they are hygienic and safe for use. Sterilization can be achieved through boiling or using natural sterilizing agents. Quality control checks are conducted to inspect each straw for defects or imperfections, ensuring that Initially, the process starts with individual households engaging in the production of bamboo knot skewers. Approximately 20,000 people participate in this scattered operation, crafting the skewers in their own homes. Each person carefully handcrafts the skewers, shaping them into the characteristic knot design that gives them their unique appearance. Once the individual households complete their production, the bamboo skewers are collected and transported to a central factory. At the factory, the skewers undergo further processing to ensure they meet quality standards and hygiene requirements. The first step in the factory is sterilization, where the skewers are subjected to a sterilizing process to eliminate any potential contaminants or bacteria. After sterilization, the bamboo skewers are dried to remove excess moisture. This step is crucial to prevent the growth of mold or deterioration during storage and transportation. Once dried, any rough or uneven surfaces are carefully smoothed out through a process called burring. This step ensures that the skewers are safe to handle and use, without any sharp edges or splinters. Firstly, the long bamboo lumbers are prepared for pressing. This involves gluing the bamboo boards together, ensuring a strong bond between the individual pieces. 
The adhesive used in this process plays a vital role in providing structural integrity to the final beams. Once the bamboo boards are glued together, steel dividers are inserted between them. These dividers help maintain the desired thickness and shape of the beams during the pressing process. They also aid in evenly distributing pressure and ensuring uniformity across the entire length of the beams. Next, the bamboo beams are subjected to hot pressing. This step involves applying heat and pressure to the glued and divided bamboo boards. The combination of heat and pressure helps fuse the bamboo fibers together, resulting in a solid and robust beam structure. After the hot pressing is complete, the bamboo beams are collected and inspected for quality. Any defects or imperfections are identified and addressed to ensure that only high-quality beams are retained for further use. The resulting 5,000 mm bamboo lumbers, with their enhanced strength and durability, are now ready for various applications in construction, furniture, or other industries where long and sturdy beams are required.